morning, folks. Actually, it's uh, 1.42. Good afternoon, folks. Carlton here, a little tired. Went grocery shopping, so I figured I'd do a, a video and shopping in Colombia, Medellin. It's not scripted, so hope it comes out okay. Bear with me. So, I spent Christmas Eve with some friends up in Santo Domingo. Came home yesterday late. Went to bed tired because I didn't sleep the night before. We're out, you know, barbecuing at one in the morning, drinking, dancing, some reggae, having a good time. And yes, then yesterday we went, got up late and made Sancocho, traditional thing here. I'll show you a video on that uh, later this week. So I'm, I'm really kind of exhausted. Uh, so we got up this morning, about 10.30, normal time for me. Look in the fridge, nothing there. So, Watch the news, see if the stock market crashed anymore, I'm losing more money. It's thank God it didn't. And I went grocery shopping. So let me see what I got here and how much I spent. Alright, we got Bill there. Okay, alright, let's see. Make this fast. Alright, let's go. I'll put some stuff away right away because it's getting warm from walking that distance. It's about six blocks to the exit toe. The two main grocery store I shop at, you know, we have a lot of mom and pop stores. Good thing about Medellin is, I go probably one and a half block that way, one and a half block that way. There's a growth as mom and pop place, you can get a lot of fruits and so forth, liquor, all that stuff. We go another maybe three blocks that way, there's another consumo, another big grocery store. And before I forget, you know, try to bring your own bags. They charge you for bags, about 30 pesos is cheap. For reference, use about 2,800 pesos to a dollar. That's about the average exchange rate right now from the street. Don't worry about the official rate. You don't get the official rate from the exchange houses. So use about 2,800 pesos. I would advise you to bring your own bags. Thing is, it's, it's stronger. It can carry a lot more. You know, these are very steady, better on the hands. Get those cheaper bags. They're still thin sometimes. I, I walk six blocks and they're really heavy. Carry three, four of them. Dig into my fingers. But anyway, you did, I buy bring your own bags. It's, it's pretty cool. Alright, let's go through this stuff. How much did I spend today? I spent 52547 It's really about $18, right? Do you math real quickly? Uh, okay. Two thousand, oh, two forty-seven. About twenty-eight hundred. Eighteen dollars sixty-five cents. Kind of high. My normal bill is about thirty dollars, thirty thousand pesos. Okay, but I got some stuff here that's kind of on the expensive side. Orange juice here. You know, um, you know. One thing about orange juice, buy the local stuff. If you try to buy orange juice from the U.S., like I love that, uh, you know, the good stuff from the U.S. Tropicana. It's going to cost you about five bucks for half a gallon. I'll show you a picture of it in a minute. You know, local stuff is fine. All right? To be truthful to me, it's not as good as Tropicana. But if you keep buying Tropicana like I drink every week, it get expensive, okay? All right. I like to eat good bread. My, my friends all know I work out, stay in shape, pump some iron, I jog, help, eat healthy, a lot of salads. You know, so I like to eat uh, wheat bread or rye bread and so forth. It's not very uh, cheap. You know, this, thing, this, this one costs, I think, uh, oh, 5,000 pesos, 5,400 pesos for the bread, all right? But I also bought this. Sometimes I, I, I mean once a month or twice a month, I might give in and buy the white bread. It's not good for you. I like to buy it. But they have this bread called Arab bread, which is really soft. So I like to eat it with my eggs sometimes. You know? It's really, really soft. That's why I like it. Alright? Not good for me, the white bread. But I buy it every now and then. I mean, I eat healthy, but you got to take it in moderation. Like, for instance, somebody might, that I might have missed, not missed this. My one vice, M&M's. The small package, real small package. It's about 92 cents for this. And, uh, you know, I probably buy it twice a week. Because that is that it's placed at the checkout counter. See that you can't miss it. 
It's a bad place to put it, believe me. But you're smart. So we should put it somewhere away. But the checkout counter, you wait to be checked out. You see the M&Ms there. You like them, so you always get one, right? You know. So probably twice a week I eat these. Some crackers. But two avocados. I like salads, right? Oh, think about salads. Um, toe to me, does not have a good selection of salads. I'll show you a picture. That's the uh, romaine, we call romaine the big red lettuce. They, they look awful. People go touch them up their hands. Uh, they're called nasty. I would never eat them. I'll show you a picture. So I buy these, that's in the sealed packages here. But even these, man, make sure you take them apart, wash them. You get little bugs sometimes in them. Wash them off and dry them, pat them dry before you use them. So I get my salads. I eat a lot of salads. I put uh, my tomatoes, tomatoes, this is about, I don't know, like 13 cents for two tomatoes. Also bought ginger, I love ginger. Ginger tea, excellent, good for your body. It fights, fights inflammation and so forth. Ginger tea, cut some ginger up in the water, boil it up, let it sit here for a day or so. You know, salad dressing, must tell you right now, uh, salad dressing, not a big, variety of them here, especially the U.S. brand, okay, just don't have them. And yeah, one more thing before I forget, I love crout croutons in my salad, I can, can't find them. I've looked since I've been here everywhere, I just can't find them. So I get used to eat without them. So I bought two avocados this week, one to last, to maybe to ripen up maybe three, four days, the other one to eat today with my salad. So I'm not breakfast yet. This, this was my breakfast today. You know, and it's now 1.30. One thing, I really don't eat as much as I should, which is, it's not a bad thing, you know, but I should eat really uh, better meals. Uh, I mean, more meals per day, actually. So I try to have one good breakfast with about two or three eggs, and then most times I miss lunch, and then I eat a, a nice meal late in the night, okay? So one thing I love to eat, cheeses. This is Gouda cheese, 250 gram. This was for uh, 8,000 pesos, about 285, not too bad. You buy the big 450, 450 gram one, it's about 536 for that one, okay? So I'm put this away real quick, yogurt, it's pretty cheap. Sorry, I had them up for a while, so I didn't want to keep them up too long. So I ate a lot of salad. So, two main grocery stores, Exito and Consumo, all right? Exoto to me is bigger, a lot more of them around, and they have good prices. The fruit section is great, but some fruits, you know, I just, just, I just don't eat by there. I'm not sure why. Apples, they have a bunch of bad apples. I mean, they sit around for, I guess this one even I bought, I picked, I picked through it a lot, and I got this one. Look at it more carefully now, it's not that great either. But like most of the apples sitting here is, is awful, and they sit, let them there. You should throw them out. And lettuce, I said, I wouldn't buy the lettuce unless it's in a sealed container. I'll show you pictures of it. Don't buy the lettuce there. Alcohol is pretty good. Uh, Heineken was a good price, like $7.70 for a six pack of Heineken. Wines seem to be okay. There's some expensive white wines and red wines, sa uh, sangria, some expensive ones, I know. You know, $17, $18 a bottle. But for the, the, the stuff that I see in the US, I'll show you pictures, it's about $13. So it's close. You know, I, I buy wine a lot in the U.S. and I buy 10 to $15 a bottle, you know. Um, I, I, but I don't buy a lot of wine here right now. But anyway, so certain things like breads, desserts, man, make them daily. They're great, okay. Fish, not too good. They have mostly the tilapias, red black tilapias, which I don't eat any kind of uh, farm-raised fish. Tilapia, shrimp, I don't eat any kind of farm-raised fish, not good for you. Watch, do a video and see, look at the video and how they raise these farm-raised fish. Not good, okay? They do have some ocean fish, very few. Very, very few selection. I mean, way in the middle of the, of the country, not close to the coast, you know? I saw a robalo, or what we call a snook, with the line down the middle. I love to eat snook in Florida, catching myself in Florida, I'm a big fisherman. The, the, the meat is really white, I mean white, white, really good. But here it's like $5 a gram, you know. And I saw one or two uh, groupers, 
expensive too. When I see tuna, it's expensive. So I really don't buy fish. I did buy some slices of tuna, frozen blocks of tuna, about two months ago from a consumer. It looked it's expensive as hell. It was like like $15 for two, two slices of tuna. And I said, what the hell? You know, sometimes you just gotta do it because I like it, so I bought it. But normally I don't because it's so expensive. So this is kind of like a more expensive day for me. You know, corn. I like corn, so I bought some corn. This is not cheap. You know, so look at the lettuce. Was about 180, 118, $1.18 cents. Orange juice was about dollar twelve. Orange juice. I love orange juice. Drink it daily. If you buy a good Tropicana orange juice from the U.S., expensive, like five dollars for half a gallon. Five dollars. Expensive. So I buy the local stuff. Not as good to me. Doesn't have a good taste, but I drink it <laughs> anyway. Um, M&Ms were. About a uh, dollar ten, I think. I think it's about two thousand. But wait, that's right about okay, about, about a dollar. It's about two thousand eight hundred fifty pesos. Right about a dollar. You know, and I have it twice a week. No big deal. You can eat healthy, but do it in moderation. Don't just deprive yourself of anything at all. I mean, um, when I need a sugar sugar boost, uh, you know, or some calories in me, chocolate's not bad for me, so I eat that not a lot. So that's kind of a an idea what you can uh, we can find here when you go shopping um, I talk some more about it in another video but uh, you know two main one exito or consumer okay the big ones but you can go any there's so many mom and pop stuff you get all your little small stuff like your your, your alcohol and your uh, your fruits they walk two blocks they're all over the place everywhere okay all right take it easy let me go eat I'm starving all right, bye.